What's up YouTube friends? I just did this uh, review on this laptop over here I just got and uh, you guys responded a lot to it so I figured I'd do a few update videos but this video in particular is about um, an external DVD writer. Um, obviously this laptop did not come with an external DVD writer with an internal DVD writer so um, you know you're going to need one every once in a while when you're on the go they're just kind of handy and nice to have I mean, I, I haven't bought a DVD in maybe three years, you know, since Netflix came out. I might buy a Blu-ray every once in a while, but it's going to be a movie that I just loved. It's going to be like the ultra special edition, and it's not going to be a standard DVD. It's going to be a Blu-ray. But every once in a while, you still need a DVD player. So um, I got this guy. I got it at Fry's for 25 bucks. I thought that was a pretty big good deal. Went over there and uh, picked it up. Picked up a few other things, but um, I, I always buy LG burners. So I've had good luck with them. I'm kind of a Blu-ray snob, not a Blu-ray, but a DVD burner snob. I, I build a, I burn a lot of DVDs. Um, I'm an editor, so even though I don't play many DVDs on my own, I do burn a lot of DVDs. I probably burned like 600 DVDs in the past two weeks. Yeah, that's right. 600 DVDs in the past two weeks for clients. So I do a lot. I've got like duplicators at home. I've got four Blu-ray burners. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I know a good bit about DVD, Blu-ray burners and drives. So, you know, I'm going to be pretty uptight and snobby about this one. So I pulled it out the box. This is not an unboxing. This is a review uh somebody else did an unbox and they didn't really do a review so i figured it was a worthy video for me to do especially considering that so many laptops are more and more coming without dvd drives so this is a slim it's not very slim actually um it's actually thicker than most of my computer um this is the gp50 lg uh, the cool thing about this thing is I like it because you can uh, plug it up to just a regular a TV if your TV has USB inputs and it'll work as a DVD player. How about that? That's cool. I didn't think, you know, you could do that with any just regular DVD player, but I was like, man, that is, that's a pretty cool feature right there. Uh, it's plastic. It's got this little kind of weird textured surface. I like textured things. Uh, you know, smooth is kind of boring sometimes. And, uh, yes, that is Downton Abbey for all the ladies out there. Um. It doesn't really have a button on the front to uh, open it up. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Yeah, no button. Uh, yeah, that's that's me with my socks on at work. Okay. It's got this crazy dual USB cable thing. It's got a mini plug, not a mini, but a micro plug in the back that it hooks up to in the back of the DVD player. One of these ports is for power. One is for data, obviously. Um, what else? It's eight times. Uh, it's not the quietest DVD burner I've ever had. You know, this is the kind of model stuff back here or whatever. Um, but it's, it's, it's adequate. So I'm going to play a DVD. I'm going to let you hear how loud it is. It's reasonably light. Um, maybe half a pound. Uh, is it heavier than this Steno book right here? Yeah, it, it's heavier than that. Uh. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, it fits pretty good in my bag. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I would hate to ever lose that cable because I've got no clue where I would find another one. But yeah, without further further ado, let's let's play a DVD. Um, I'm not gonna burn a DVD. I mean, you know, I'm assuming if it can play a DVD, it's gonna burn one just fine. This isn't gonna be the dang greatest. DVD drive you've ever seen okay it's $25 it's slim okay you can hear right now it's spinning up it's kind of loud you know it's it's not the quietest I like how subtle the LED is I hate bright LEDs on DVD burners like don't make it seem like you know you're flagging me down for a flight or something like that I don't need all that I just need an LED to tell me that it's working okay so it's spun up it's recognized by my computer windows 8 just fine plug and play no drivers why in the heck would you ever need drivers for a dvd player using vlc because windows 8 does not come with an uh, a dvd player software out of the box so this is it you hear it now it's not too bad it's 
it's pretty average actually for a DVD burner. Um, it's it's not very loud right now. You know, you just don't want to be somewhere on a plane and you got your dang loud DVD burner spinning up and waking everybody up on the plane or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should pick it up and see if it skips. If I pick it up, let's see. Oh yeah, it skips. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. It's a disc. It skips. But, you know, maybe they had some kind of buffer underrun or something like that, like they used to have the ESP and, you know, your your Sony Walkman CD players. But obviously it doesn't because it skipped automatically. Um, yeah, beyond that, it seems like it's working pretty good. It's playing smooth, no skips, nothing like that. So, 25 bucks, I'm pretty happy. It gets my recommendation. It gets a B+. Plus. Maybe they could have made it look a little slicker, a little sexier, but it looks fine. So that's it. That's the end of the review. Um, like it, subscribe it. Hope this helped. See you later.